Angels Journal Night. Hello and welcome to the Rangers Journal, my name is Kai Watson and today's video is going to be a profile of Hefty. We're going to look at his time before he came into Rangers, look at what he's done so far then, look at his performance last weekend, I think he's a really exciting player, I think it's easy to forget that he's only 20 years old. So we're going to look at what he's done previously, what he's doing now, his last performance and kind of look forward to what we can see from him in the future. But before we do that I just want to say a massive thank you for the support we just reached 2,000 subscribers last night. It's a massive achievement for us. The first video only went live on the 2nd of February and it was only me. Brought in Scotty. He brought in a brilliant team of lads to start the podcast alongside the videos and all the profile stuff. So again, I just want to say a massive thank you for the support. It's really appreciated and the content is just going to keep coming. We're going to ramp up and ramp up. We're already doing a lot just now, almost seven days a week content and it's just going to keep coming. So... Massive thank you for all the support so far, and if you've not subscribed already and you enjoy the content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Absolutely help get us out there because a lot of us put so much time into this, and again, it's really appreciated your support. So, thank you, and again, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. But anyway, let's talk about Hefty. So let's start by looking at his time at Apoel first. So obviously we've done this profile, he's 20, he's still 20 just now, doesn't turn 21 until December. Six foot fullback. Like I said, he was in loan at Applewell last season. Transfer market I've had him valued then under 500k. Looking at his key stats, he has 31 appearances, 23 from the start. Got three goals and two assists. 81% pass accuracy, 58% long ball accuracy. An incredible 44% cross accuracy. One key pass per game. 62% dribble success per game. 3.7 interceptions per game. 6.6 6 recoveries. 41% total duels won and 60% aerial duels won. So we had the guys on from This Is Mapper to talk about Hefty and I spoke about Stell from their channel about him quite a lot before he came in. So the main thing was brilliant going forward, great attacking threat, quite suspect against PC wingers and one on one defending, but he's a young fullback, especially a young fullback from Brazil that just loves to attack. So that was kinda of expected. But you look at his strengths, so the crossing ability is brilliant. If you look at kinda of average averages on cross accuracy, for forty four percent is genuinely incredible. One key pass per game, I think it's something that he'll build on. Obviously, puts a lot of crosses in the box, a lot of accurate crosses. Even if a cross is accurate, it doesn't always turn into a chance. So maybe the key passes per game or the chance created per game is not fully reflective of his ability to get the ball in the box and actually produce an accurate cross. But from these numbers, I was very excited. You're probably almost always excited when you hear about a Brazilian coming in, but an attacking fullback that has a bit of flair that's capable of taking on opposition fullbacks, got a lot of pace. He's tall as well, which is sometimes unusual for a fullback to be six foot and also have that much pace. So he's strong, powerful, decent in there. So looking at these numbers, safe to say I was pretty excited and also hearing what the guys said that were experts in separate football had me pretty excited. The defend, defensive side of it was maybe a bit of a concern, but it was more focused on the kind of positive of that and attacking side of the game and being able to Fairy the crosses and actually beat a man. So I thought it was really exciting when we were first linked and then obviously when the transfer was confirmed. So let's have a look at how his profile is looking now. Like I said, he's still 20. Transfer market value has been up to 745k. His key stats are just from the league so far. So three appearances, 82.8% pass accuracy, 50% long ball accuracy, just under 40% cross accuracy, which is actually in the top 7% for fullbacks in the league. So again, very impressive crossing numbers. 0.33 chance of creative per 90, 71.4% dribble success, fell 1.33 times, 1.67 interceptions and 53.1% of duels won. Don't think any of these numbers are overly surprising. He's not had much defending to do apart from the Celtic game, which I think you can have seen the frailties in his game mostly due to Kuhn cutting inside. So he's having to kind of tackle on his right foot or use the outside of his left, which isn't ideal for a fullback. I think he might be fine with a right-footed right winger and going down the byline. He does have very good recovery pace and, like I say, he is strong and physical. But I think he's struggled with wingers cutting inside and it's something that he definitely needs to improve on. But the attacking side of the game is very exciting. He's very good at interchanging with players. He can go on the outside, use his pace to get to the byline. He can come inside, dribble past opponents. Like I say, he's really good at linking up with the midfield and the winger. When he played with Rabbi Matondo, it was really exciting that Matondo could come inside and Hefty was bombing down the left. He's got so much pace, so much energy, and he does vary his crosses up, whereas 
when we had Barris, it was mostly floaty crosses into the middle, most of the time from deep as well. But it's hefty as much as he can put in those crosses, and they are crosses of quality. He'll also try to get to the byline, he'll fire cutbacks into dangerous areas. He's done it a few times against St Johnston, actually. I think he was very unlucky not to get an assist or two in that game because his crosses were excellent. He actually lifts his head up and looks for players instead of just firing it in aimlessly. Again, so that variation on the left-hand side has just been very exciting from an attacking sense and the fact that he's only 20 just means he can further improve on that and having good decision-making at that age isn't something that always happens, especially in an attacking sense. So we just need to work on the decision-making defensively and how he defends one-on-one because I know a lot of teams prefer using inverted wingers or players that will cut inside. So that's something that needs to improve on going forward and looking at European games. Now let's look at Hefty's performance last Sunday against Dundee United. So he played the whole 90 minutes, fought more, gave him a rating of 7.8. Had two passes into the final third, 86% pass accuracy with 36 out of 42. 100% long ball accuracy with 3 of 3, 25% cross accuracy, 2 of 8. 100% dribble success, completing both dribbles he attempted. 50% tackles run, 86% ground use run, 50% aerial use run with two interceptions and six recoveries. He's a very aggressive defender, which... Works out sometimes, obviously worked out last weekend, but he does try and nick the ball from the winger when the passes are coming from midfield. It's something that I think he may need to be a bit more smart about when it comes to higher level opponents and playing against more tricky wingers who might try and nip in first. It would lead to him giving away a lot of fouls. Like I say, he is quick and strong. That aggressive play style probably will work in Scotland, but when we come to European games and maybe the old firm games, he may have to tone it back a bit, but I think it was a very... An kind of understated impressive performance. He didn't register any creative chances, but I do think he put some very dangerous crosses into the box and he did link up well. I do think he works better with a winger that cuts inside like Bayrami did, like Matondo had been doing, like Cortez does. It gives him so much space on the left hand side with the full back track and the winger in that he can just bomb down the line and he seems to just have boundless energy that he can do it for the whole 90 minutes. So again, it was really impressed with his performance done the United the weekend. Looking forward to seeing him again tomorrow where he plays left back. And I think there's a chance he might get pushed further up for this game. That's another interesting thing with Hefty. He's got so much potential going forward that do you move him up? He was obviously played left wing against Dynamo Kiev and he was impressive there before the red card. His biggest asset is going forward to do. You just negate the weakness on the defensive side. Again, when Redvan comes back, do you play hefty there? We've obviously inverted the money in Oscar Cortez with the obligation to buy for next season. And I do think he looks sharp at the weekend. I think he's a very promising player. He was good in the short appearances he had last season. I think it's worth keeping him there. I do think I would have hefty as first choice left back from now on. Redvan's kind of injury issues just make him unreliable. I don't think it's fair to stunt the development of someone like hefty or someone like Cortez further forward as well. But interesting to know your thoughts. So, would you have Hefty as a first choice left back? Would you move him further forward? Like I say, most of his kind of main strengths are attacking abilities and his pace, crossing ability, ability to beat a player. So, do you think it's worth not focusing on improving the defensive side of the game, making him a left winger? Or should we focus on that defensive side and have potentially a dual threat left back, which I think is where you get probably the most money for him? I think Cortez. It's a win with a lot of potential that we could make profit on in the future. I think if you really hone in on the defensive side of Hefty's game, help him improve that one-on-one defending, then you've got an excellent player there that can both defend and go forward with his physical build and his athleticism. But I'd love to know your thoughts. Do you think Hefty should be a left-back? Should we try him as a left-wing? Do you lie somewhere in between that you'd like to use him in both areas, depending on, depending on the opponents and... Games we might have to be a bit more defensive. Do you play Ridvan at left back and Hefty on left wing? Knowing that he can do that defensive tracking work as well. I think it's a really interesting prospect. I think he's a really interesting player. I think he does have a lot of potential and a lot of levels that he can go up. So I'm really excited to see what he can have for this season. But what have you thought of Hefty so far? Where do you think his ceiling is and where do you think he should play? So please leave that down in the comments, create a bit of discussion and if you have enjoyed the content please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.